Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tracy and this is a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up and decorating the week of January the 9th in my wellness planner. So as you can see, I use the gratitude layout for my wellness planning. And for my wellness, what I do is I actually track a few things. I track sleep, mood, energy, stress, and any type of symptoms or ailments I may be having. I am currently tracking my sleep on my monthly layout, so I'm not tracking that here. Although I think that may change next month and I may start tracking all of these again on my weekly layout. What I am gonna do before I get started is I'm gonna go ahead and label the sections and I'm gonna do that off camera and then I will come back and we will get started. Okay, we are back. Um, so as you see, I went ahead and put my headers down. Um, I am going to make them a little bit more colorful by adding these overlay tapes from Narrative Hues, um, which was girl boss Anna. So I'm gonna just add, go ahead and add these. here. I don't know if it was the printer I was using when I was making this, but like the ink is actually coming off of my words. So I got a new printer for Christmas. So I'm going to see, I'm going to probably be reprinting some more of these. Let me not do this first. Hold up. Going too fast. Um, I want to wipe this out. But yeah, so I did get a new printer, so I'm gonna see if maybe that one prints a little better on the label paper, or else that might be the label paper that I'm using. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so it's just gonna be like trial and error to see <laughs> why my ink doesn't really stay on as well. All right. Then we have symptoms. All right. So there we go. And then something was under here that just smeared and I don't know what that was. So something purple, like a purple ink. Whatever, I'm gonna have stickers pretty much covering that whole side over here. Um, I guess we'll start on that. So the stickers that I'm going to use, I have pulled stickers from this wellness planner, I mean this wellness um, sticker book from Happy Planner. So this is what a lot of my box stickers and a lot of the stickers on the sidebar are from. I'm also using stickers from the Agenda 52's Girls Book, which if you saw my plan with me for my goals planner January setup, then this is the same sticker book I use from that. And they have a real cute kind of like to me, it's self-care, but um, type page. So I'm using some things from that. And I believe that may be it. Um, as always, I have done some pre-planning, so I have pulled some of the stickers already. I'm gonna start with the decorative stickers that I've already pulled from that Agenda 52 book. Thought she was really cute, so I pulled her. I think we're just gonna put her here, but I am gonna have to use my Tombow correction tape. There. Guess I can put her all the way over. All right. So I have her there. Um. Then. I have this cute little bathtub, because you know, that is definitely self-care. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. So we put this here, and I'm not gonna white out those lines. They're just, that doesn't bother me too much. Okay, so I have some more decorative stickers. Um, here are some of the other ones I have, and I'll probably add those after I get all of my functional stickers on the page. So the first thing I wanna do is cover up the things I accomplished this week with to do. And in my wellness planner, as you can see from my headings, energy, stress, mood, and symptoms, 
I kind of like track more how I'm feeling. So that's why I kind of want to cover this up. And I just have this here. And this will be kind of more like self-care type activities that I can jot down here. And then I also have two habit trackers that I pulled. Um, these actually came from the habit tracking um, accessory book. These two habit trackers uh, from the habit tracking accessory book um, from Happy Planner. All right, so I'm going to put these two down. And I think I'm going to go simple this week and I'm going to do my AM routine and PM routine. Those are the two things I am going to track. Um, Cause for this past week I was tracking meditating and journaling and I did not check off anything. Um, <laughs> even though it was the first week of the year and you know, you're all ready to go, it just does not work. <laughs> um, and then I had these five daily reminders. This was in the wellness book. I tore the edge, so I'm going to trim that off real quick, but it says, I am amazing. I am capable. Positivity is a choice. I'll celebrate my individuality and I am prepared to succeed. So I'm going to put this, I think this is something good to look at. Actually, don't mind that I uh, ripped it because I do want to trim it a little bit anyway because I think I'm going to put it next to her and I don't want to take up but so much space in those boxes. I like to have like a little bit of a border but not too much and all the little extra pieces of sticker is sticking to me. Let's see, is that going to fit? I may have to put that is a little janky. All right, so let's see, can I put this here? I don't really want to cover her up, but I could cover her up. It's the symptoms, man. It's the symptoms. The word's too long. All right, I'm going to put this on it, but I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to, I am definitely going to put that on. So on the bottom, I also wanted to add some daily highlights. Like this is my symptoms section, but obviously, fortunately for me, I don't have that many symptoms to fill out the whole section. So I'm also gonna be using it for some like daily reflecting, daily like highlights. So again, these are from the um, wellness book. And what I did is I just layered it with a decorative box that was also in that book. And I think I'm gonna put it right here here. That way I still do have some space to write any type of symptoms that I may have on that day. Um, obviously, because it's symptoms, I'm not always writing in those boxes. It's kind of like as they occur, which is why I decided that I want to start using some of these boxes for other things, um, such as like reflections or notes and things like that. All right, so I can put this one here so then I can put this here let's just put it in this box okay that's fine actually I want to move it up a little bit probably let's do that all right so it's a little crooked but it's all right I'm not gonna keep going okay um and then again, I, instead of adding these big boxes to every one, I just have like today was, and I'll just put that in like some other boxes. So I have that one. I have this, actually, let me swap it. I have this one. Can go a little bit off. And then I have one more and I'm just going to put that here on Sunday. Again, I don't need it every day um, just because I know what I want to write. So I can just jot down whatever I'm feeling um, there. Okay. So I do want to add some boxes. So I'm going to add a box here. Let me add it down because I don't need as much for mood beings that these have the... Um, faces here, the smiley face, okay face, and sad face. Um, so I don't need as much for mood. So I'll use these boxes more for stress, anxiety. Um, I have two of the wellness books, so I could have gone into them and gotten more of these boxes. 
but unfortunately like one book only had like four boxes of the shape and the other one was like a real like peach color that didn't really go um but I didn't really want to go into the other book because I still wouldn't have had enough that's the only like thing that I do complain about with happy planners they just don't seem to have enough of certain types of stickers in their sticker books so then here's some more like I'm feeling and I'm going to kind of use these as a divider between energy and stress. Um, last year when I was using this layout, I actually used washi tape and made lines. Um, this year I'm not really doing that as much. Um, I might go back to it. It's, it's definitely decorative and cute. I do it like this just so that way if I need more space then I can, you know, use more space for it. All right, and this is I'm grateful for. I guess these are pretty close to the size of the boxes, so I'll just try to center it up with these two. I'm not going to, but because there's no box there, I'll just keep that. And then this one says, I'm feeling. So I'll try to line that up. Let's see. All right, so these are way off. So it's easier for me to do this one. I'm gonna bring it down so I can get a little bit closer to me. Yeah, I'm trying to stay on top of my overall wellness journey. Um, like I said, this first week, <laughs> Did not go. I mean, I, did, I wouldn't say I did bad this week. I really didn't do bad. I just didn't do a lot of the things that I had planned on doing, like journaling. <laughs> you know, I wanted to try meditation. So I, I definitely need to kind of start prioritizing stuff like that. And these are cute little stickers that I also got from that wellness book. It says, this one says, enjoy the moment. If you've seen any of my other plan with me, you see sometimes I add things to the top. And a lot of my old layouts, I used to put flowers up there. Um, here lately with the winter season, I've been putting snowflakes. <laughs> For some reason, there's like stuff all over this page that is smearing. It's like ink. Okay. All right. This is kind of, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, it's kind of hiding my dates, but you know it is what it is i know that it's wednesday i really don't i rather have the date than the day of the week personally um like on the calendars um that i've had to redate in the past i usually just put the dates on there i don't put the days of the week so this says laugh often, be brave, be kind. And this last one says inhale courage. And if you saw my planner setup for my goal planner, then you know that courage is actually my word of the year, my one little word. So it's funny, I chose the word and now I'm like seeing it in all my sticker books. I'm like, <laughs> that's nice. Okay, so yeah, so I think that adds something. It's like a little, some positive quotes. Um, and add some stuff. Now I pulled some washi, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna use it. I am gonna add some more decor. So we have a rubber ducky, we have a bright pink and a yellow. None of those are really in here. We shall see, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna do, I think I wanna do the pink. Can I just sit him? We'll just sit him in the tub. There we go. So it doesn't take up any space. <laughs> um, we'll put some slippers over here about the tub. Callum balance out the corner. I'm sorry if I was not in frame. I have to push this a little bit further away from me to get it into frame. So guys, if um, I have some kind of interesting good news, um, you know that Happy Planners, like they created like a travel adventure let's put this by her an adventure box um so i've been seeing that and then kel of a plan released her travel basics book which i did i purchased her book i didn't purchase the happy planner box so i have that coming in and it kind of got me into thinking that i should create 
my own travel journal or like travel memory keeper with all of the extra <laughs> um, things that I have. I have like so many um, filler pages. I have so many like I ended up buying a um, ream of 32 pound paper. So I have so many of those. So I'm like, you know what? I, again, I'm an advocate for using what you have. So beans, I already have it. I was like, I think I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I have started creating my travel memory keeping journal. And I am going to share that with you guys in a few weeks. Um, it so far, like I haven't gone on any trips this year. My first trip scheduled is in March, but I'm going to show you guys how I set that up. And then like, we'll do some like, when I do some of my planning for my trip, maybe we'll do some plan with me for that. Um, and then I'll show you how I'm going to like actually journal in it. I think it's going to be pretty neat. Um, it's been fun to set up, but I didn't do a plan with me or an actual like setup video because I wanted to take my time and do it. So that's why I'm going to do more of like a setup flip through. So that way you guys can kind of see what I did and I can kind of go over what I did. Um, but I guess, like I said, I created everything out of, um, just some 32 pound paper and some filler paper. And I just used some like happy notes, um, covers and I'm making my own dividers, you guys. So, and I'll show you how I do that in that video. But I have found some like really cute um, scrapbook paper from Michaels that was kind of travel related. Most of it wasn't. It says it's like a travel book. There literally is like two different designs on it. <laughs> but um, that's like kind of travel-y. So I have that and I created some dividers. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that as well. It was kind of fun and I was like, hmm. Now I can have dividers that don't have calendars on the back or like have to use up all of my happy notes and guided journal dividers. So that'll be fun. All right, let's get back to wellness. <laughs> all right. So I added some little decorative stickers. I don't, like I said, don't want to add too much more. They have some cucumbers, but I guess I can put them. I don't know. They just, they'll seem like a little out of place. <laughs> I think if I just put them somewhere. Where is the finger and polish? All right, I'll put this over here by put that over. Oh, I don't want to hide the smiley face. So I don't know if you guys, I know a lot of people do track symptoms and things like that. What are some of the other things that you guys are tracking like as far as like feelings and wellness related? Um, I know like a lot of people have some, kind of like New Year's resolutions to like be more positive, um, focus on like daily affirmations. So I'm just curious um, what some of you guys are doing out there. Like I said, I think this might actually change every month based on what I need. Um, believe it or not, my stress levels have been pretty good so far. Um, that may <laughs> change. So I haven't been writing as much there. My energy levels have been horrible. I have like that midday crash and it just does not come up. So um, like I get, I wake up at like 4.30 a.m. Like I'm wide awake and I have energy until about one. And then it just, it starts slowly crashing. And then by like late afternoon, early evening, I'm just done. Actually, I think that's it. Cause I definitely want to have enough space to write in it. So like I said, I'm going to do energy here. What I usually do it's kind of do a scale from one to 10 about my energy levels. And I used to do that for stress, but here lately I've just been writing kind of what I'm feeling as stress levels and mood is kind of self-explanatory, but I do my overall mood for the day. And if it does vary through the day, I will write that in like the little notes section. And then symptoms is anything that I'm feeling. And like I said, and then I kind of just have quick journaling notes. So let me go ahead and pop this back in my planner. All right, guys, 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me of my wellness um, planner for the week of January 9th. Um, what I plan on doing is probably alternating each week between doing a wellness plan with me and my fitness plan with me, just because the layouts are generally pretty similar. Um, I can flip through. I did a plan with me for my fitness layout, so I will link that below if you guys have not seen it. But here is the layout. As you see, I kind of do things a little bit similar. So do like the four categories, four categories. So I will probably be alternating between those each week um, just because they are similar. Um, please feel free to leave any comments. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are already not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. If you already, if you are already subscribed, I can't talk today. I really want to thank you. That does mean a lot to me. And I do hope to bring you some new and exciting content in the future, um, some different type of content. Um, we shall see how that goes. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.